G'day everyone, welcome back. Hope you're doing well, hope you're having a great day or a nice night if that's the case for you. It's Friday here in Queensland, Australia and I have another food pantry haul to share with everyone. And if you haven't watched my videos before, how this particular food pantry operates is it's firstly open and available to anyone in my local community. Anyone that needs a helping hand is able to go along. You pay $10 and they give you a box of grocery items. And most weeks, along with the grocery items, they usually also give you some type of cold or frozen item. Uh, sometimes a couple frozen items. Usually there's a loaf of bread. And most times you also get a selection of fruit and veggies, depending on what's been donated and what's in season. So I'll show you what I picked up this Friday. There's some great stuff again. It usually works out to be really great value for the $10 that you pay. There's usually many times over worth of value. And it's a real big help to my family at the moment to get what we do. I should also just quickly mention before I show you what I got, if you're also needing the help at the moment, if you're thinking about going along to a food bank or food pantry and you're just not sure where to start, there is some links down below in my description box where you can put in a postcode or a zip code and hopefully find something nearby to you. So here's what I was so fortunate to pick up today. Uh, firstly, you'll see some of these chickadees. And it's a six pack of, I think there's some type of like little savoury chip sort of thing. And my kids came along with me today when I went to the food pantry. So that's why we ended up with the box with the packet of chips in. <laughs> so they'll enjoy eating those, I'm sure, as a treat for them. So that was nice. There was also in the grocery items some spaghetti. And there's a packet of barbecue flavored rice crackers. These ones are quite nice. We've been getting them the last couple of times that we've been. And there's also some Scotch Finger Biscuits and some Microwave Ready Jasmine Rice. These are so handy, these pouches. Really makes for an easy dinner, so that's great to get. Uh, there was also a few different items today. There's some Sesame Snaps. These are little sesame and I think it's like glucose or sugar from memory in these ones. So there's three little packs with about four little bars in each one. These ones I might actually save for when the kids go back to school and they'll be good for lunch boxes, I think. Uh, there's also some continental soup sensations, Vietnamese chicken and shiitake mushroom with vermicelli noodle soup. That sounds very posh, doesn't it? <laughs> sounds really nice. So two of those in the packet. Uh, there's also some like energy bar type things. There's some oat slice, chocolate and almond. And another one here, which is oat slice, maple syrup and almond butter. That one sounds really good. And again, I think I might just put these ones aside in the pantry for when they go back to school. These would be really handy to put in their lunch boxes for uh, school snacks or even after school snacks. So really great to get. Then in the canned items this week, we got two cans of baked beans. These are like little half cans, which is probably quite handy if only a couple of us want baked beans at the same time. Uh, so I could probably use the two cans for everybody, like have half a can on a bit of toast each to make a meal. I'm thinking, or a snack. Uh, there was also some organic this week, four bean mix, which is really nice to get. And already I'm thinking of a meal with this. I think if I added this to the jasmine rice, so I made something the other week with the rice that I got and added the four bean mix, um, fried up some onion, added in some capsicum. Uh, I'm trying to think what else I put in, lots of herbs. I think I even put in some mixed veggies. I might have had a can of mixed veggies. So I turned it into like a, I suppose a bit like a fried rice, but not quite with um, different veggies through it last week. So I might do the same this week because I still have 
a bit of veggies in the fridge from the big um, three-month hamper haul. If you haven't watched that video, I'll link that one up above. You might like to see all the lovely things I got given there, which has been a real big help. So that'll be a great meal as well, those two together, I think. Uh, there's also a can of spaghetti, which is great for, again, a snack on toast probably. Uh, there's some peach slices and juice, which we might use at breakfast time. And there's some more chicken noodle, instant cup noodles which is great. These ones, what I usually do is I fry up an egg or two, make like an omelette and chop the omelette up. And then I add it to the cooked noodles and usually add a can of like mixed veggies. You might remember if you've been watching my videos for a while, I have been getting cans of mixed veggies probably most weeks for quite a while. So I do have a few as backup in the pantry. So I, what I've been doing to rotate through some of that is to mix it in with the chicken noodles and bulk it out, add in some egg and turn it into a meal. Sometimes I wait till I get a couple of them to make it feed us all or add in if there's other little packets of noodles as well that I've got on hand. It just depends what I've got in the pantry. So always great to get the noodles. Everyone likes noodles. And this week I've also got a jar of traditional tomato pasta sauce, which is fantastic. I think this one is an Aldi brand, if I remember correctly. So that'll be great with maybe the spaghetti I got today or some other pasta I've still got in the pantry. I did also get in the cold items you'll see here, which could be a meal already, is a lot of frozen beef mince. I'm not sure exactly how much it would be, maybe about 750 grams, I'm guessing. It's a bit, bit more than half a kilo, I think. It's a bit deceptive with these trays that they've been packing the mince in. There actually seems to be more in them than you realize when you start to cook it. And this one I'll probably divide in two to make a couple meals with. So with the pasta sauce and the spaghetti already from today's lot of grocery items I can already see maybe a couple meals there that I can make. I was also given some more frozen pumpkin soup so there's two tubs of frozen pumpkin soup which is starting to thaw out but these ones I'll leave actually thaw out probably for dinner tonight and I have got some croissants um, from earlier in the week from uh, Tuesday's food bank so they'll pair nicely with the pumpkin soup for supper. So as well as the frozen mints and pumpkin soup in the cold items today, I did also get given a bag with some frozen pastry items. There's a mystery pie from the local bakery that donates to the food pantry and a mystery parcel here. This one usually, the triangle ones are usually cheese and spinach type parcels or vegetarian type ones. So there's a couple of yummy things there. And the lovely ladies at the food pantry also gave the kids a muffin each. There's an apple one here and this one over here I think is an orange and poppy seed one I think. Looks like orange muffin with poppy seeds on top. So that was nice of them. And the bread this week is a loaf of frozen multigrain bread which I'm going to hurry up and hopefully put back in the freezer. And there was also some frozen pikelets, which are like sweet little pancakes for anybody overseas. Uh, we quite often have pikelets for afternoon tea or morning tea. And you can serve them with a bit of butter or margarine, a little bit of jam, stuff like that. Maybe even some jam and cream if you've been really fancy. So they'll be nice. We'll enjoy eating those. And the cereal this week is a box of cornflakes, much to the kids' delight. And we've got two bottles of almond milk, just the Coles original almond milk to go with the cereal this week. Uh, there was also two rolls of toilet paper, which is always so handy. And then in the fruit and veggie department this week, I got some great stuff. Uh, firstly, I got a whole Kent pumpkin this week. How awesome is that? 
will be so helpful for maybe making pumpkin soup myself or I could roast it in the oven. Lots of things I can do with it to steam it, add it to different uh, stews and curries. So nice to get. So that's a great help. Uh, there was also about 10 potatoes. The lady at the food pantry loaded me up this week on the potatoes, which is, again, really helpful. Uh, there was about three brown onions. I think there's about eight apples this week. Uh, these are the pink lady variety, I think. They're quite nice apples, quite good eating. So that's great to get. It'll be great for snacks. Uh, there's also about three really big carrots. And this week we have some passion fruit. There's three of the purple skinned, I think they might be Panama passion fruit, I think they might be called. And then there's three of the yellow skin variety. They're usually both really nice sweet type passion fruits, these ones. So that's great to get. And about half a dozen mandarins. There's four little ladyfinger bananas. I think I counted about four oranges as well. And then last but not least is a nice little bag of cherry tomatoes. So that, my friends, is everything now. That's all the wonderful help I got this Friday from our local food pantry. Really awesome to get what we did this week. Uh, thanks so much for watching, everyone. I really appreciate it. If you've got any different ideas for some of the ingredients I got today, let me know. Hope you have a nice weekend and until next time, take care.